Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for April 30th, read by Buddy C. from Atlanta, Georgia. AA thoughts for the day. Compromise. One qualification for a useful life is give and take, the ability to compromise cheerfully. Compromise comes hard to us all or nothing drunks. Nevertheless, we must never lose sight of the fact that progress is nearly always characterized by a series of improving compromises. There are circumstances in which it is necessary to stick flat-footed to one's convictions. Deciding when to compromise and when not to compromise always calls for the most careful discrimination. As Bill sees it, page 59. Thought to consider. Wisdom in its purest form is sometimes knowing what to overlook. AA acronyms. Bath. Behavior. Attitude. Thinking. And Habits. Just for today. Inspiration from Alcoholics Anonymous number 3. I thought, I think, I have the answer. Bill was very, very grateful that he had been released from this terrible thing, and he had given God the credit for having done it. And he's so grateful about it, he wants to tell other people about it. That sentence, the Lord has been so wonderful to me, curing me of this terrible disease, that I just want to keep telling people about it, has been sort of a golden text for the AA program and for me. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, page 191. Daily Reflections, A Great Paradox These legacies of suffering and of recovery are easily passed from alcoholics one to the other. This is our gift from God, and its bestowal upon others, like us, is the one aim that today animates AAs all over the globe. That's from 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 151. The great paradox of AA is that I know I cannot keep the precious gift of sobriety unless I give it away. My primary purpose is to stay sober. In AA, I have no other goal, and the importance of this is a matter of life or death for me. If I veer from this purpose, I lose. But AA is not only for me, it is for the alcoholic who still suffers. The legions of recovering alcoholics stay sober by sharing with fellow alcoholics. The way to my recovery is to show others in AA that when I share with them, we both grow in the grace of the higher power, and both of us are on the road to a happy destiny. As Bill sees it, word of mouth. In my view, there isn't the slightest objection to groups who wish to remain strictly anonymous, or to people who think they would not like their membership in AA known at all. That is their business, and this is a very natural reaction. However, Most people find that anonymity to this degree is not necessary or even desirable. Once one is fairly sober and sure of this, there seems no reason for failing to talk about AA membership in the right places. This has a tendency to bring in other people. Word of mouth is one of our most important communications. So we should criticize neither the people who wish to remain silent, nor even the people who wish to talk too much about belonging to AA provided they do not do so at the public level and thus compromise our whole society. Big Book Quote In dealing with resentments, we set them on paper. We listed people, institutions, or principles with whom we were angry. We asked ourselves why we were angry. In most cases, it was found that our self-esteem, our pocketbooks, our ambitions, our personal relations, including sex, were hurt or threatened. Alcoholics Anonymous, How It Works, page 64. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. The AA program is one of faith because we find that we must have faith in a power greater than ourselves if we're going to get sober. We're helpless before alcohol, but when we turn our drink problem over to God and have faith that He can give us all the strength we need, then we have the drink problem licked. Faith in that divine principle in the universe, which we call God, is the essential part of the AA program. Is faith still strong in me? Meditation for the day. Each one of us is a child of God, and as such, we're full of the promise of spiritual growth. 
A young person is like the springtime of the year. The full time of the fruit is not yet, but there is promise of the blossom. There is a spark of the divine in every one of us. Each has some of God's spirit that can be developed by spiritual exercise. Know that your life is full of glad promise. Such blessings can be yours, such joys, such wonders, as long as you develop in the sunshine of God's love. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may develop the divine spark within me. I pray that by so doing, I may fulfill the promise of a more abundant life. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota 55012. I'm Buddy, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.